Well, hi there. Painted turtles are some of the most beautiful North American turtles. This one right here is a Western painted turtle. You're also likely to see Eastern painted turtles, Southern painted turtles, and Midland painted turtles. They're all members of the same species, Chrysemys picta. This one, the Western painted turtle, is the only subspecies with a red plastron. So the shell's made of two parts, the bottom part being the plastron, and the top part that's made out of the ribs and the backbone, that's called the carapace. These guys are the only ones with a red plastron. The other three all have yellow plastrons. The southern painted turtle has a big red stripe down the middle of the carapace, and it stays a little bit smaller than the rest of them. The eastern painted turtle has a plain yellow plastron, no red stripe, and very odd scoots on its carapace. The scoots have a pale leading edge, which wouldn't be that big of a deal, except for the fact that Unlike, I think, all of the other North American turtles, the scoots do not alternate. So if you look at the back of this turtle, you'll see that the scoots down the middle are like staggered with the scoots on the side. On the eastern painted turtle, the scoots in the middle and the ones on the side all line up. And so that pale leading edge forms almost like a stripe or like bars running across the turtle. It's pretty crazy. The Midland looks basically like this Western painted turtle, except its plastron is yellow. Again, they don't have any stripes, either down the back or bars across them. They're also about the same size as Western painted turtles, which are a little bit larger, despite the fact that this one's young and still small. Western painted turtles and the Midland painted turtles are a little bit larger than the other subspecies. In all cases, the males will stay smaller than the females, and they can be distinguished, just like their relatives, the red-eared sliders, by their claws and tails, but really only as adults. This one here is still too small to say if it's a male or a female with much confidence. It is about at this size, though, that these traits begin to manifest themselves. I just wanted to take a moment to say, this enclosure is not the permanent enclosure for this turtle. When we filmed our video on red-eared sliders, we put that turtle in a small enclosure like this to show it off to you guys, not as a, and, and I think I even said something about it, but that enclosure is not their permanent enclosure, so don't even get that in your mind. This is a temporary enclosure for while we film this video, but it's pretty cool. It gives you a good look at him, or her, because I have no idea. The reality is that these turtles are very similar to red-eared sliders. They're even close enough to them as far as their relatedness that they can hybridize with red-eared sliders. And you might recall that I don't think that red-eared sliders are fantastic pets for most people. So is their cousin, the painted turtle, any better? And is it the best pet turtle for you? To help you figure that out, we are going to score the painted turtle based on our five categories, which are handleability, care, hardiness, availability, and upfront costs. When it comes to handleability, we give the Western painted turtle a score of four out of five. The big downside to handling water turtles generally is that they're wet. And uh, also potentially that they pee a lot, though that's not as big of a problem. If water's coming off of their tail, it's probably just because you pulled them out of the water. These issues are true of painted turtles across the board. They also can bite and scratch, potentially. But turtles are not great at reaching all parts of their own bodies. So if you hold them right, that will never come up. People keep telling me that my big snapping turtle is going to bite off my fingers. Well, I've kept snapping turtles most of my life, and I've never been bitten by a turtle, period. And these are much easier to handle than snapping turtles. If you're getting bitten, you're doing it wrong. I wouldn't say that holding them is super fun, but it is very easy and not very dangerous. Do be careful about dropping them. They could crack their shell or be harmed even worse than that, so don't drop them. And don't stick them in your mouth, because apparently that's a problem. And that's why you're only allowed to buy turtles with a carapace length of four inches or more. I think it's kind of a dumb rule. It actually is probably that way because people used to sell these in huge numbers to people who had no idea what they were getting themselves into. And so they're trying to slow that down. And by making people raise them up to a size even larger than this before they can sell them, 
that's probably been good for the turtles. This turtle actually comes to us from Animal Ark in Orem, Utah, where they are currently in the process of raising this turtle up to a size large enough that they can legally sell it. It's not quite there yet, and so for now, it just lives at Animal Ark, which is, by the way, a stinking rad pet store. And by the time this video comes out, this turtle may very well be available. So if you are looking for a Western Painted Turtle, check out Animal Ark, give them a call, see what they've got. They've also started specializing in absolutely insane tropical plants for bioactive enclosures, plants I've never seen in my life that do amazingly well in these enclosures. So if you're looking for that kind of a thing, that is something truly unique Animal Ark has been doing lately, and you should definitely check them out. I'd like to take a moment just to say thank you to our rad fans and stinking rad fans at Patreon, and to tell you about something cool that we do every time we film that I'm not sure if I've shared with you before, which is that we do something called Patreon Lens, where we give a little sneak peek of some of the rad animals that are coming up in the future right while we're filming. And that is something that our patrons know about that nobody else will. So you're like in on our little secret. And that's just part of our way of saying thank you for all that you guys do for us. Thank you so much. When it comes to care, we give the Western Painted Turtle a score of three out of five. This is not a really difficult water turtle to care for, but it is a water turtle. They need an aquarium full of water. And they need a lot more space than most people give them. They're also messy, so that water needs to be filtered or changed very regularly. You probably don't need to heat the water, but you might if your home gets very cold. What they are gonna need for sure is a basking platform, just not in here, part of why I'm saying this isn't their enclosure. They need a basking platform, and, and it's gotta be out of the water enough so that the turtle can get out and dry out completely. While they're on that basking platform, they need access to UVA heat and UVB ultraviolet light. They do very well on a diet consisting, uh, you know, maybe in large part of a prepared aquatic turtle food, but also other things like fish, worms, arthropods, and veggies because they're omnivores. I wouldn't recommend using goldfish. I'd recommend something more like guppies, uh, including things like mollies. Those can be really good feeder fish. They're also fairly easy to breed yourself if you've got a fish tank. Goldfish, though, can be very high in the enzyme thymonase, which breaks down thymine, which is a really important nucleotide. I'd like to pause just for a moment to remind you that at the end of all of these videos, there are bloopers and other just really fun moments. You'll see a moment where we scan through a list of our stinking rad fans at Patreon who do so much for this channel. But right after that, there are some bloopers. So if you didn't know that, stick around. And actually, they're on all of our videos, except I think our very first one. So go back and watch all of our videos in case you missed them. When it comes to hardiness, we give the Painted Turtle a score of five out of five. These guys are hardy. If you give them anything close to what they need, they will survive for years and years and years. This is why, you know, aquatic turtles like this, these were one of the first reptiles that people were keeping successfully on a regular basis. As far as I understand, Sylvester Stallone still has the little turtles from Rocky, and I can guarantee to you they were not being well cared for for the 1970s and 80s. And, and the fact that aquatic turtles can be so hardy is why oftentimes they don't get the care that they need. Don't do that to them. When it comes to availability, we give the Western Painted Turtle a score of five out of five. This isn't the most common aquatic turtle in the United States, but it is probably the second most common aquatic turtle in the United States. You will see them at pet stores, expos, online. There are also many that need to be rehomed. So if you want a Western Painted Turtle, why not do that? When it comes to upfront costs, we give the Western Painted Turtle a score of four out of five. The turtle itself will not be very expensive, though I think they're a little bit more than they used to be, largely because people have to raise them up for a while before they're allowed to sell them. The enclosure is going to be the real cost. However, they don't require quite as much space as red-eared sliders, so that will save you some money compared to a red-eared slider. You will need a filter, a pretty good one because they're messy, a basking platform, UVA and UVB lights, turtle food, but you know, that will be enough to get you started. It's not 
too bad. And that is why overall, the Western Painted Turtle gets a score of 4.2 out of 5. We have some more reasonable aquatic turtles on our list of the top 5 turtles, but this one is more reasonable than the more common red-eared slider at least. If what you want is a beautiful, reasonable, but not too reasonable aquatic turtle, then the Painted Turtle might be the perfect pet turtle for you. As always, like and subscribe, and we hope to see you real soon. Are you poo-pooing? Sylvester Stallone's reptile keeping capabilities. Hey, Adrian, how we keep them? <laughs> Put them in the fish bowl. Hey, hey, boo boo! This is shifting a lot! <laughs> I don't do accents. Accents come out and we just see if we get Sylvester Stallone or Yogi Bear. <laughs>